A pipe organ is a musical instrument that produces sound by air vibrations created in an organ pipe, which is controlled by a musician from a keyboard. Pipe organs have a history that stretches back centuries BC. Organs were developed very fast in Middle Age and gradually became the most widely used instrument during 16th and 17th century. Organ is sometimes described as the king of all instruments. This is the organ we hear in chapel every day. The beautiful hymns are all played with this amazing organ by Miss Tan. As we can see, it has three keyboards and one extra keyboard consists of pedals. It's really hard to learn because it looks complicated. And I'm going to find out how this magnificent instrument makes sound and how can we use physics to expand it. Organs look similar to piano because we press keyboards to create sound for both piano and organ. But the sound of piano is made by strings inside, and the sound of organ is made by huge pipes all around the chapel. This is called an electric organ. It works a little differently from those original ones. When I press the key, you can hear the sound made from those big pipe, pipes up there. So let me tell you how it works. In fact, when I press down these keys, the signal will be sent to the air box inside a secret room, which many of the students don't know where it is. All right, let's have a look in there. This box here, it's called blower, and the wooden box here, it keeps the air steady, and the pipe here, is send the air go and Let's up. have a look up here. There are lots of pipes and um, the pipes that are open, they make the sound of clarinet and the wooden pipes at the top, they make the sound of flute and their closed pipe. First, the pitch can be affected by using pipes of different length. These little buttons here are called stops. We can see the stops have different names and different numbers under their names. The numbers beam the pipe's length. And when the length double, the pitch is going to be one octave lower. What the point is, the shorter the pipe length is, the higher the pitch will be. Let's try one with eight on it. It indicates that the pipe length is eight feet. Then we can hear a nice flute sound. Now, I'll make another flute sound, but I'll use a stop has number four on it. Therefore, the length of this pipe, which is vibrating now, has only four feet long. And obviously, the tone is much higher. If I try this stop, which has number two on it, the pitch is even higher. But all the time, I was pressing the same key. But due to length of pipes got shorter, the pitches are getting higher. Let's figure out how the material of pipes affect the sound of organ. Here, it's a stop, which has number eight on it. It means the pipe I'll be using has eight feet long. Then I'll press a key. You can hear a nice clarinet sound. But if I use another one, which also has number eight on it, it will sound different. It's because the material of pipe is different. If I do another one, which also has number eight on it, it will sound different too. This one not only sounds different, but it sounds louder. <laughs>